and we're live streaming again uh, continuing right. Nuzlocke challenge that we started last week yes sir we are continuing the adventures of Gouda today <laughs> And it should be significantly easier than it was last week. Now that Big Bird finally knows Gus. Should be able to blow straight through this forest. Yeah, continue the adventures of Gouda and their bastard child Grunch. Friggin' Grunch! <laughs> He's not even going to do what we need him to do in this gym. I just feel it. I'll say that sadly wouldn't be too much of a surprise to me. I just don't know what what's going to happen here. I, I don't know how he can disappoint me more. <laughs> than losing me that Mankey. I mean, in the grand scheme of it all, it was a Mankey. It wasn't going to make our final team. However, it just hurts. <laughs> I haven't really looked at our team since last week, so I'm going to give a quick peek at all of our levels because I need to make sure Grunch knows Vine Whip. Yeah. Huh? As long as he knows Vine Whip, everything will be fine. Okay. Yeah, we're going one shot everyone. Here we go, our first trainer trainer battle besides Buru. <laughs> See if we can handle the challenge. Rick. Go Good, I need you. <laughs> They're a dimensional bug catcher. <laughs> He's out here with his nephew Morty. Finding some very comfy shorts. KRP can't hack it. <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> Sending a caterpillar into a fight might not have been your best choice of strategy especially against a bird no I thought I could take the elite four uh, I actually saw a guy one time he's got his Hall of Fame to prove it of level 100 Caterpies yeah. to fight the elite four a lot of people have a lot of elite four records that aren't aren't quite factually accurate. Though I did see video one time of a gentleman with a magic heart playing on competitive just online. Yeah. Just one shotting people with tackle. He did that by using swords, dance, and baton pass. It was interesting. Oh my god, this thing... It survived the wind <laughs> assault. I want to catch it. We 
might be able to get Big Bird to evolve before the end of this forest. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. I just know I'm going to be happy when we get the Vang Antidote. I remember when I was six playing this game. Like, this forest seemed way longer. I know, right? I it also seemed like there was a whole lot more stuff to find. Yeah. You know, it might have been just because I was young and bad at video games. Or now I've just played this too many times. It seems to take no time at all. Nothing went right for Anthony today. <laughs> God, I'm going to be so glad we get these running shoes. <laughs> Just so glad. Oh, it's level five. Watch out, we got a tough guy over here. So something I'm curious about is what in the world are we going to do if Grunch manages to get himself knocked out against Brock? Well, it was a nice two video run. <laughs> What's with these cocoons? Thinking they're hot stuff. <laughs> You're not hot stuff. Just take your place in the circle of life. All right, quick attack. So you remember last week you were asking me about a uh, shows on Funimation and Crunchyroll. Uh -huh. Did you read the news about them? No. -uh. Uh, they've partnered up now. Ah. So if you want subtitled anime, you can go to Crunchyroll to get all the selection versus dubbed to get Funimation. Okay. Like they're splitting up all their content to make it easier on them and reduce bidding wars. Yeah. That was kind of cool. Nah, I haven't heard much news from anybody this last week. I've been sleeping a lot. <laughs> That's third shift for you. It'll happen. I've been trying to not sleep just exclusively. <laughs> and failing, but, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> hey, trying's the important part. It's all about the participation trophy. Sammy, you give up too soon. Why don't you have a Kakuna yet? That Weedle was level 9. <laughs> You're a horrible trainer, Sammy. Like, I could understand you wait till, like, a little while to evolve your Weedle just so it doesn't have Harden in a slot. It levels up easier. Is this a new route? Or is this still route 2? Um... I'm going to have to go back out and in to look at this. <laughs> I think it's still Route 2. Yeah. We can't catch anyone here.
Alright. All right. Go recover all our Gus. Because that's what we're going to need for this. We just got a alert. I missed what it was, so I'm going to check really quick. See, it looks like we got a following from the Pink Ducklet. Thank you very much for the following. Hey, follower. Here we go. I don't foresee too much coming out of this gym. Hopefully not. Did you remember to put Here Grunch comes, in the first spot? We're 10,000 light years away! <laughs> Did you remember to put Grunch up first? Oh, yes. Okay. But this guy starts with Sandshrew, I believe. Liam. We don't want to mess with him. Oh, God. No, he starts with you. Dude. He has a particular set of skills. <laughs> skills that make him a nightmare for trainers like you. And now his Geodude's dead. <laughs> Woo! Well, Grunch, at least you're supposed to knock him out this time. Yeah. Friggin' Judas. <laughs> Man, last week just... God, that stupid the Mickey. Is real. <laughs> like people will believe what they want to believe about videos and acting and all that. Like I'm an actor, but I can't, I can't mimic that kind of pain. That hurt. <laughs> Me and that Mickey were going straight to the top. Alright, Grunch, let's see what you got. I'm glad we gained those two levels. Yeah? Yeah. Now comes the fun part. It's fine, he doesn't have... Well, Vine Whip goes off physical, so... We're slower than the huge pile of rocks. That's never made sense, but Onyx has always had... An insane speed stat. Yeah. But he's rock and ground type, so he has a four time weakness to vine whip plus stab. There yeah. was no way we were having any issue with that. And now we got a boulder badge. <laughs> You know, I've never noticed my Pokemon more powerful for having a badge. <laughs> I haven't either, to be honest. Like, I've always been curious, they always say, it makes your speed stat higher, it makes your special attack. Like, it, does it just add a few EVs that you might not have wanted? That's my guess. Or maybe it does, it, it does but it's such a minimal increase. That they're not does lying. Does it happen for the Pokemon in your team, or does it happen for everyone, like even in the box? Not that we'll have to worry about that too much. Yeah. It's pretty much just going to be Spaceman in there since Grunch kills everyone. <laughs> like, I hope you buckled up. This is pretty much our Elite Four team. <laughs> Uh, for anybody watching time. that hasn't seen last week's video, uh, I'll go ahead and link the YouTube channel that we've got it on. That way when you get the chance you can get caught up and see why we're both so mad at Grunch. It's a journey. And now, we're never walking anywhere again. <laughs> Yeah! 
I love the running shoes, it's the best item they ever decided to put into the game. New route! Now we just need to make it through this whole gauntlet and we can maybe get a Spiro or something. Which would suck since we just spent all this time working on Pidgey. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> There's sand everywhere, guys. Well, at least the Pidgey's not using Gust. Yeah. Well. Yeah. The. I think it's trying to be merciful. <laughs> or this is the world's worst trainer and just went to the move deleter have that Pidgey forget Gus. <laughs> like I found these games really don't want to kill your Pokemon. Yeah. They want to get close and then throw the match. Do we have anybody that can fight this? I guess Big Bird is our only other usable Pokemon. <laughs> well, there that we seems go. like pretty... Trying, <laughs> trying to kill us. I hate the last class of characters. I hate the youngsters. Yeah. Oh, it always with like the most common normal types but they're all annoying yeah we got a bug catcher coming up here so I'm going to switch into big bird after this one I'm going to go heal hey he remembers us <laughs> I don't remember you Colton I don't I don't remember battling anybody named Colton we didn't. If we did, it doesn't matter. He's a useless shell of a man who we blew into the oblivion. <laughs> Why are you even here, Colton? You're ashamed of your family. Well, you were talking about the effects of badges. Uh... I still remember the time that you were playing, I think it was red on an emulator. And you told me about trying to use the game chart cheats in it to get yourself the extra starters. Uh huh. To encounter them in a random battle. And somehow it managed to change your Charmander that you had started with to act like you were traded it. Which at first was like, hey, cool. Because now it yeah, grows really fast. Up. And quickly realized that was a very bad thing because, oh look, Charmander's loafing around. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it became anime Charmander. <laughs> I always felt like that Charizard was very ungrateful for what Ash all did for it. Like, he sat around and cradled it in the rain to help it, help its flame not go out. And all of a sudden it evolves and it's like, Psh, you don't have enough badges for me to care if you literally saved my life. Alright. Whoa, look at those shorts! <laughs> ben got it going on! Okay, I put Spaceman out front just to try to gain a level. He needs it. Yeah. I I don't see us keeping him for long. But we can hold on to him for a little bit. Oh, man. Ben is not playing around. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna have to drop a potion here. Well, at least Spaceman's level six. Oh god, I'm so intimidated. I'm just gonna go to Big Bird. Grunch is too intimidated. He's sitting around peeing. I kinda hope we get in Ekans. I'm like the only person that's just a fan of poison type Pokemon. I just love them. I like them. Nido King, Arbok. I could live without wheezing, but that's <laughs> just everybody. What about Grimer? Ah! Grimer is alright. It's just that I've never really used them too much. Yeah. Until later gen games, just because it takes so long for them to level up and become muck. And they're kind of useless before muck. Yeah. Although, you know, for a kid's game, some of the Pokedex entries they have in this are insane. Like, one of Grimer or Mox. Yes was like the land it passes on can never support life again. Why well, am I even tempting fate? Yeah, I got poison. <laughs> Hope to God I have an antidote. Uh, unless you use the one we picked up earlier. That's true. I have, have picked one up since we started this video. Because we found one in the forest. Yes. Now this would be what Spaceman would be good for. Yeah. This is going to be a war of attrition. As for war of attrition, you know I make no no qualms about the fact of playing on an emulator. So speeding up the playback for a second. Yep. This is going to take all of the tackles. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't get a crit? You can't just give me one critical hit? Be too easy for you. Oh, your defense was for not Kakuna. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, quick attack. So much better move than tackle. Don't give it. Spaceman can win this fight. Or he can die. <laughs> it's a Rattata, you know. Yeah. Make me slower. I have a move that automatically goes first. You're a fool, Caterpie! That's why you're not Marge. And what's with them being at level 9? That's the worst thing for a Caterpie to be. Because then it evolved to Metapod next. And then the quickest you could get Butterfree is level 11. Then it miss learning confusion.
this guy go to the bug catcher Colton school of Pokemon training? <laughs> it's dumb. Getting those levels, though. Get out of here, Craig. She wants it. <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> Sally. Sally, don't play coy with me. I forget if Pidgey evolves at 16 or 18. Uh, I will find out. We will all find out soon enough, my friend. Because I can't remember either. You know, my... One of my favorite Pokemon is Nidoking. But I hate it because it gains ground type. Yeah. When you evolve into the final form. Uh, so for that Pidgey, we were both kind of off. In Generation 3, Pidgey evolves at level 18. Okay. What type of trainer is down? Okay, I don't want to mess with him. I'm going to go heal. Since I don't have a reliable fighting type, all these normal types are giving me issue. <laughs> Grunge. <laughs> this is where Spanky would have helped. Yeah, I still gave him a name. Yup. He may not have gotten to join our team, but he's in my t in the team of my heart. I think Spaceman can take this Caterpie. <laughs> I do. But, yeah, Just, last week we had ended up doing the stream kind of early, and that wound up being not too great an idea. Because neither one of us thought of the data usage of screen sharing Skype and streaming at the same time. Yeah, for reminders, we are about two hours away from each other right now. Playing over Skype. I'm in control of gameplay and he is running the video service. Yup. Which is... I'm Swordfish, by the way, and this is Loki. Yes. And that's why those of you in chat right now are able to get fairly quick responses from me on chat. Is because he's playing the game, so I can keep an eye on Chet. Finally got a critical off that quick attack. <laughs> Spaceman acting like he wants to belong here. Well, as long as Spaceman doesn't accidentally kill the next Pokemon we want to catch, he can earn a place. See, I'm trying to make him competitive. Because I think he'll be our best shot to hit somebody without killing them. Cause we got this grass coming up, coming up right here. Let's see who our new friend will be. Come on. <laughs> okay. That's one thing I didn't explain about Nuzlocke is the species clause. If you run into a Pokemon you've already caught, you don't have to catch it again. You just, you move on to the next encounter. 
So, what if it's a Pokemon species that you didn't catch because Grunch accidentally knocked it out like an asshole? Doesn't matter, we're getting a Spearow! <laughs> Alright, and I am going to change out before I kill our spaceman. <laughs> Go with Big Bird. Ow! Jeez. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I knew I should have tackled it. <laughs> It's all right. We didn't need another flying type. Yeah. Plus, I think uh, the Pidgey family ends up with better overall stats, don't they? They do. Uh, just by the simple fact of a second evolution. But Spearow has a higher base attack stat. Yeah. It's very helpful. Like, really, I prefer a Fero to a Pidgeot because you get it earlier. It learns some strong moves. But, yeah. I would have much rather... Don't remind me of what was! And good lord, that is a strong... Someone might die. <laughs> oh, God. That's doing five each time. That's That's not okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh now they're just rubbing it in. Oh no, now they're really hurting our Come on <laughs> Stop oh. I only have one more potion. <laughs> oh, thank oh! God for critical hits. Oh, Big Bird. The killer <laughs> of Spiros. Oh, thank God. Screw you, Calvin. <laughs> Go away. Oh, that would have sucked to have lost Pidgey oh, there. Oh, man, that could have gone so south. That could have gone so, so south. To the Pokemon Center. <laughs> Come ease my soul, Joy. I've just had a few heartbreaks. <laughs> I can't believe I did. I'm not even going to put that one on Big Bird. That one was me. <laughs> that Fero was pr really just pretty strong to start. I thought it could take the heat. Turns out it needed to get out of the kitchen. <laughs> get some more of these. Where am I going? <laughs> I started so, going up like we're going to the museum or something, and everyone knows the museum's only free on Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Pink Ducklet said that uh, that battle with the Pharaoh could have gone further south than we are. Yes. All right, a Jigglypuff. Something I wish we could have caught. <laughs> ah, spaceman, thank you with this dick again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Better watch that. It's gonna get him killed with that top. Keeps those yes. thoughts up. Okay, so I'm having to think of a counter measure for a track. So. <laughs> Put a leaf seed on, leech seed on there, just so 
we're just getting passive damage while we're asleep. Yeah. Or attracted. Because Jigglypuff is a hell of a tank, man. Yeah. I really wish we had some kind of great fighting type that could <laughs> hurt it. God, that would just be incredible. If only we had run into a fighting type by now. Yeah. What am I even giving Grunch crap for? He's asleep. <laughs> Glad I put that leap seat on. That was a better idea than I gave it credit for. <laughs> Yeah, grunge. When we get to the name changer, I'm renaming him do this. <laughs> I can't exactly say I blame you. I said it. One of these has to have some hidden item. Do you remember the surprise the first time you click at a random spot at the end of a trail and it's like Gouda found one Pokeball? Yes. It's like you, it's like you unlocked the world. Or remember back in the like generation one when you know you got the great ball from the trash can in the SSN? And ever since then, you check every trash can you find in Pokemon? That's not a joke. I do that. I do too. Every new game, I have been in the trash can, and I've never found anything. Come on! We couldn't have got a Geodude or a Clefairy. We get the literal spam garbage. <laughs> I mean, Crobat is great. It's just keeping a Zubat alive long enough to get Crobat. Okay, so we got a male Zubat. We got some suggestions for a name? Alright, give it just a minute. Okay, I've got to wait on my chat box to reload. There we go. We're going to open up suggestions for names to the chat. If anybody has something. It takes just a minute because of the major delay between us doing something and uh, the Pink Ducklet suggested naming it uh, Dracula or Drac. Drac. I can get behind it. I could too. Drac it is. Drac. Now here's the real question. Do you want to spell it with the C? As as is normal or we do with a K and go on full hardcore uh they spelt it with a C so I'm telling you look at that <laughs> but for the benefits of chat I'll go ahead with the C 
Yeah. Uh, they had also suggested Munch. The only reason that I would say no to that is because it rhymes with Grunch, and at this point in time, we're both still mad at Grunch and don't really want to associate too much with him. Not happy. <laughs> Gonna take a few weeks. Gonna have to one shot a few more gym leaders before I forgive. But at least Drac is level nine. That's one of the highest you can get a Zubat at this floor. Yeah. Well, I guess not everything's bad. It could have been worse. <laughs> Case in point. We could have had Paris Hilton there. Oh. Pink Ducklet saw it with the K and said K all the way. So when we get to the name changer, we'll change Drac to K. K. Provided Drac's still alive by that point. Hopefully. Because real temperamental that Zubat <laughs> staying alive uh, I am going to be right back I've got to go grab something to drink I thought I had okay, more tea. Okay, grab me some while you're over there, right? <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be right back. That'd take me five hours to get to your house and back. Well, you don't have to get back. You can just keep streaming. Unfortunately, I had to come back. I have work. And, well, technically today now. But it's going to be so hard getting through with all these mountain mountaineers. <laughs> well, they mostly have ma chops and well, they mostly have geo dudes. So maybe we can handle this. Yeah, but I will return shortly. All right, he's finally gone. Thank God. Now it's just us. You, Big Bird, and me. The way it was always meant to be. Finally, one shot at Cocoon. This has been the most ridiculous thing. Kent cannot raise a Pokemon. Yay, I'm so worried about being paralyzed. Half of my team knows quick attack. Case in point. Sucking me dry. You cannot astonish that which came from space. Spaceman, the unastonishable. But that could hurt him. So grunch it is. So while Brian's gone, I'm just going to do a little bit of grinding here. Just try to get everybody at some kind of appropriate level. We do have Drac and Marge that are sitting at low levels. They need some love, so after Spaceman gets his next level, we're going to change him out of the 
front slot. Just pretend like we have strategy in this game. And we're not flying by the seat of our pants. Why couldn't you have come sooner, Lady Geodude? I'd have treated you well. And now, nothing. Alright, we're going to have a dual leveling. I just love when that happens sometimes. Poison powder. That's actually kind of useful. I'd like to wait for Loki to get back before I just say get rid of Growl, but I really believe he'll go with me on this one. So we're going to go ahead and cut out Growl. Learn poison powder. At least till we can get sleep powder. All right, sleep powder—the move I wanted instead. Yay! Because poison powder and. Leech Seed would make a great damage over time strategy. Yeah. But. By the way, I'm back. Is better for catching Pokemon. Welcome back, Cloaky. Good night, Pink Ducklet. Thank you for tuning in with us. We'll see you next week, hopefully. Look forward to seeing the stream on YouTube. So, while you were gone, got Grunch and Spaceman up another level. Alright. And I was thinking of putting either Drac or Marge out front. Let them get some sweet levels in now that Spaceman's kind of close to everyone else. Yeah. But which one do you think we should do? Uh... And Marge is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Well, Marge will be easier level... Like, they're not going to see any actual fighting time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's do Marge. Because I could see more use for Butterfree. And also... Through this whole run, we haven't had an evolution so far. What was so, the first Pokemon you ever had evolve? First Pokemon I ever had evolve uh, was a Pidgey into Pidgeotto. Really? Yep. I would have thought it would have been one of the Caterpillars. Just, that's the most common one that people get. That's interesting. You had, you ground up a Pidgey. Well, when I started, I also didn't have a whole lot of people to talk to about it because uh -huh. uh, I grew up under a rock, basically. Never mind that Mom had Pokemon banned for the longest time. 
Oh, come on. We're just flipping coins here. <laughs> Can we wake up? Can we hit because we're attracted? But I need to get an awakening. Man, I went to get some tea and I saw an envelope on the table. Uh huh. And thought of a stupid little song I haven't thought of in years. You'll probably remember the reference. I don't know if anybody else that watches it will. You remember the song? Here's the mail, it never fails. When it makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Mail! <laughs> you know, a very appropriate reference. Uh, the 20 year anniversary of Blues Clues was this week. Cool. Yes. Okay, Big Bird's just thinking with his dick. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out Grunch. Yeah. I don't think Big Bird understands just because it's pink it doesn't work that way. I don't know if they're in the same egg group or not, but he wants it. The heart wants what it wants. Oh, God! <laughs> Why didn't I put leech seed on first? Why am I dumb, Loki? Don't ask me, I'm kind of in the same boat. Uh, so a fun glitch in Generation 1 to anybody that wants to play any of the Gen 1 games, especially with them being on the virtual console for the 3DS now, uh, use leech seed on somebody and toxic uh -huh. or it's, or it might be the reverse order but those two moves back to back uh, I think it's toxic then leech seed so that the seed effect overrides the effect of toxic of them just being poisoned but the damage from toxic still continuously increases what leech seed does that was, did you see that did you see what just happened here? Yeah. <laughs> it evaded the attack, and now I'm locked into using Leech Seed every time. <laughs> God, I hate status types. <laughs> Switching into Big Bird just to remove the, uh, Affection, and hopefully we don't die right here. Get like a 15 times critical. <laughs> Big Bird's dead. It doesn't matter because Leech Seed's going to take it next turn. You fool! <laughs> That's the last thing you can do is growl at me. Alright, level five. I can see why her friends just left her. <laughs> run, 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 run. Gouda has some good cardio for as much as I make him run. Yeah. Like, I'm not the healthiest fella out there, but... Running through your entire country as I will make him do without slowing down... He's got some sturdy legs. <laughs> Hell, he couldn't even sit for 20 years. <laughs> I remember when they announced you could sit at chairs in Gen 6. <laughs> Blew my mind. I truly realized we were in the future. <laughs> Why do they keep astonishing him? He's seen the wonders of space. <laughs> There's nothing you can do to him.
Uh, man, you remember how excited we were for like Gen 5 when it came out? Yes. That was when we really got back into Pokemon. Also, remember, I remember us being really excited and also remember us getting really mad. Because it was like the first Pokemon game we had ever pre-ordered. And then that was the first one, that was when Nintendo decided they didn't want to do pre-order bonuses for Pokemon anymore. <laughs> well, you know, we still got Victini. Until our games got messed up. Yeah. Oh, have you gotten Victini? Oh, God. Yeah, I've got him on uh, Omega Ruby. Yeah, I was going to say he's the release for the month. Oh, I haven't got the release one. I should grab it too. Never hurts to have an extra. Oh man, this one's kind of an issue. I think. Yeah. I forget how brass and steel interact. Uh, I think it's not very effective. Nope. I'm... But the good news is his electric attacks aren't very effective against us. Go to sleep. Grunch! To sleep. <laughs> Grunch, you put him to sleep right now? Uh, I think Leech Seed will do its normal amount of damage to him, though. Yeah. That was my next move. Oh, come on! Grunch didn't give him the proper amount of rupee. <laughs> you go back where you came from. So, you know how we've thought for quite a while that Rock Tunnel was like really complicated even for a Gen 1 game? Yes. I actually looked up a map of it here a while back because I was curious as to, you know, how many twists and turns there are. It's not as complicated as you think when you look at the map. There's only four rooms in the place. Yeah. Are you trying to diminish my achievement that I made it through there without using Flash? No, because even that. if you know the map, making it through when without using nine. Flash... <laughs> Grunt, you better put him to sleep. Guys. He's gonna self-destruct. I'm afraid of them knowing Sonic Boom, really. Okay, if this one doesn't work, I'm gonna leech seed. hate damage over time moves. I'm always such <laughs> just a dumb straight offense type. Oh my god! <laughs> Can no one stay asleep? Like we've already got it on a set nuzlocke. It's not like we're doing any easy mode here. Throw us a bone! Don't say that. Cubone will pop up. That's fine. Grunch can kill a Cubone. I dare a ground type to show up. <laughs> Hove on. <gasps> what well, do you know? Our first evolution was it? Did our our illegitimate son is evolving? <laughs> Yeah! Well, the good thing about him evolving like that now is now if he does mess up, he'll at least like he'll at least look like he did it intentionally, not like yeah. with Spanky, where he just kind of looked up at us like I did good, Papa. <laughs> well, now he has some stats behind him. Now he could maybe hit something that isn't 
type of effective and still do some damage. Spaceman seems to be holding up pretty well. Well, you know, he isn't doing bad. He might be able to stick around for a little bit, because honestly, Raticate isn't terrible. Yeah, and considering our restrictions on catching, he may end up being a good member. Yeah, with our current options, he's not bad. <laughs> He's just great because all these Zubats know Astonish and for some reason they insist on doing them. <laughs> so yeah, good on you, Spaceman. Okay, we got a Metapod coming up next. Okay, you want to hear one of the dumbest things I enjoy doing in Pokemon? What's that? I like when you get a Metapod, it learns Harden. When you evolve it into Butterfree, it still knows Harden. Like, I like to make Butterfrees use Harden and imagine what that process is like. <laughs> like, just the real world application of a butterfly just immobilizing itself to be tougher. <laughs> Margarine coming through. Our special little lady. So, the first Pokemon game I ever got was Pokemon Yellow. Uh, and my dad had bought it from me, for me, from a guy that worked for him. So, when I started, you know, this guy was supposed to leap for, finish the game, so I was just kind of playing around, getting used to the game itself. Uh-huh. And... I caught the aforementioned Pidgey and it started to evolve and I noticed how it was kind of going back and forth. So the first time it started to evolve I actually got so excited and so worried that it wasn't going that something was going to keep it from doing it that I started mashing buttons to try to make it work because that's how little kids brains work. I mashed yeah. B and it failed. So you stopped your first <laughs> evolution. Oh, thank God, an escape rope. <laughs> really tempting fate by not going to a Pokemon Center yet. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm going to wait to clear this room of its rocket and then go to the center. I think we can make it. If not, at least we got a subscriber before the run ended. Yeah. And if something happens, it's not like we can't either restart a Nuzlocke on here or pick another one that we can emulate for it. That is true. It was fun. I got in the Pokemon mood after we started this last week, so I did a vanilla run on Crystal. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, excuse me, I'm playing gold. It is fun, dude. I forgot <laughs> what it's like to be able to catch every Pokemon you see and have <laughs> options. <laughs> and let them be knocked out. So you can make mistakes. And not have to sweat it so bad if Grunch decides to critical hit. Exactly. Speaking of critical hits. <laughs> I 
I love bug Pokemon level up so easily. Yeah. Okay. I think it's grunge time. Give him his big debut. <laughs> Get that leap seat on there. Now you got nothing, Rattata. So, back when Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire first came out, did you ever see the uh, exploit that people found to get basically any Pokemon in the game? No, I did not see that. Elaborate. Uh, so they've since patched it. They patched it a long time ago. Of course. But it was some trick you could do, uh, with opening your camera in game and taking a picture of different QR codes corresponding to the Pokemon you wanted. Uh huh. And for whatever reason, it would glitch the game and give you the Pokemon. Well, that's interesting. I'm sure a lot of people game the system on that. I was not among them though. I was I'm a non cheating player. And I don't like using hacked Pokemon, especially now with stuff like the GTS and everything else so easy to use. Oh. Oh, I spent so many hours of my life on the GTS. <laughs> That's no joke. There's nothing. I know, what I was it like? I have spent a week of my life trading Pokemon on the GTS. What was it like? A solid two weeks that we spent every one of our days off hanging out together just playing Pokemon and rarely actually interacting with each other's games? Yes. Which reminds me, we should pull out the 3DS's one day and uh, have a battle. We should. love to show you what I've been working on. But now, I'm going to run to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> work on that. Well, after we heal, it looks like it's going to be a good time to go ahead and save it. Uh, unfortunately, even with me being the only person using internet right now, after so much time, my signal does start to degrade. Alrighty. Then we will go ahead and call this one a day. I might do some grinding off screen before next week. Let me give it another shot. Alright, guys, we will be back next week with another episode. Uh, it's either going to be Tuesday at midnight, Wednesday at midnight, or Thursday at midnight. It be mostly... sure to like our Facebook page to find out. Yeah, be sure to check out our Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Gaming, Or check out Twitter, I post updates there when we're getting ready to do a stream as well. And it's twitter.com slash Gaming. Thank you guys, and we will see you later.